Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you how to create a stone effect design. So we are going to start with uh, taking off shine from the tip surface or the nail surface. And we're going to uh, start uh, with covering the surface uh, with a dark color. Uh, I'm using 3-step 114. Uh, my design is going to be in blue color, uh, in blue colors, different shades of blues. But if you prefer to uh, use a different color, you can uh, go for a dark green or a dark burgundy or dark uh, purple color. Uh, then you just need to make sure that you choose colors to complement each other. Okay. So I've covered the surface uh, with one layer and I'm going to pop it into the lamp for one minute. Okay, so this color is now fully cured. Um, I cured it for one minute in my lamp, but if your lamp is not 100% uh, strong anymore, make sure to cure it a little bit longer to prevent any shrinkage. Remember that all dark colors need just a little bit extra uh, curing time if your lamp isn't strong enough. Okay, so next product I'm going to use is a product from uh, Crystal Nails. Uh, it's called Tiger Eye Infinity uh, number 4 in a blue color. We are going to paint um, the area of the nail. Nice and thin coat, but I'm not scraping on the surface. Just enough uh, to cover. And I'm uh, painting the lower area of the tip. I'm kind of just leaving a little frame around because I don't need to paint uh, on that uh, top surface. And now I'm going to need a magnet uh, for this product. Uh, I'm using magnet from Crystal Nails Collection uh, Tiger Eye Magnet. And I'm going to use the magnet on the surface of this tip to uh, get a full, uh, kind of beautiful, shiny result from this product. Depending on how you're going to apply the magnet to the surface, it's going to create different effects. I just want uh, to have uh, a little bit shiny surface to the tip, so you kind of have to play about a little bit uh, to see, uh, just to pull the little particles in the right direction. To create a nice shiny effect. Okay, I'm quite happy with this one. We're going to pop it into the lamp and cure it. So one minute curing time again before we can go with the next layer of the product. So we're going to uh, create like a marble effect around this uh, tiger eye. Uh, so to be able to um, have like harmony to uh, uh, harmony to this uh, uh, tiger eye color uh, we're going to pick complementing color so I'm just going to stay uh, within like a bluey blue color range so I'm using the color uh, that I use for the background so it's three step 114 so I just put a little uh, dot of the color on my palette and I'm also using some lighter shades so this one is three step 64 63 sorry so it's like a royal blue color and I also want something brighter to kind of uh, stand out so I'm using 3 step 99 also so it's a really light baby blue color and maybe just a, a hint of white not too much just a tiny bit of white so uh, this one is 3 step 78 so I will be able to create a nice ombre, a uh, nice marble. So I will be able to create a nice marble effect with these four colors. So how are we going to do it? It's a very easy, uh, simple and quick technique. So first of all, I pick up some of the dark color and I create a line with it. A couple of lines. I'm using zero long brush for this because it has a it has long and thin bristles so it's easy to pick up the color and uh, create line uh, on the surface 
and then I'm going to go with the lighter color and I'm going to place it right next to it and now the royal blue can go in the middle and a little bit of white it can also go somewhere in the middle, just to break it uh, off a little bit. So uh, now I'm going to use a flat brush, a um, flat gel brush. Uh, my favorite for this technique is Ombre Pro brush because it has a, a really thin and flat bristles and it's easy for me to pick up um, the colors on my brush. But before I pick up the colors, I'm going to use the product that will help me to create the marble effect on the surface. The product I'm going to be using is Water Pro Clear. So I'm going to apply uh, just a thin layer on the surface of my tip of the Water Pro Clear. And this product um, spreads the uh, color spreads the product on top of the surface nicer and uh, it creates a better mar marble effect. We don't cure this layer and then the wet layer uh, on the wet surface of this product we're going to pick up the product, pick up our colors that we have on the palette and we're going to create the marble effect. Uh, make sure that you uh, Start from one edge of the tip and as you're going along we press a little bit and at the same time we are wiggling our brush a little bit. We don't want this uh, product to be too uh, straight, we want it to be a little bit wavy and a little bit uneven. And the colors, they are merging nicely together and marbling nicely together. And like I said, the product uh, that we have uh, underneath, uh, the Cover Pro, is helping the product uh, to kind of um, merge together nicely and also create a better um, ombre. Uh, it's like the wet on wet technique. Okay, so we have to leave it for a few minutes uh, to solve level slightly. And uh, we can also add just a little bit of sparkle, as I think everyone likes sparkle. So we can make this designs a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to apply just a tiny amount of um, 3 step 115. And I'm going to use my uh, zero long brush. I'm going to add just a little bit of, si of silver to this design. And it's going to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter. So I can just add like a little bit of uh, little bits of glitter uh, in a few places. We don't want it. We don't want too much of it. But I think just tiny bits of it look really nice. Okay, I think that's enough. We don't want to cover too much of the marble effect. Uh, once this is ready, we can pop it into the lamp and cure it. Okay, my tip is now cured. I can take it out and uh, we need to top it. We need to cover it with the top coat of your choice. Uh, you can, of course, uh, cover it with the matte if you like uh, the matte kind of surface. And this time I'm going to cover with the shiny top coat. And I'm using a uh, cool top from Crystal Nails Range. So I'm going to brush on a thin layer first. And because we use the, the layers uh, of the colors quite thickly, the surface sometimes can be a little bit uneven. If that happens, that the surface is a little bit uneven, we can just add a tiny little bit extra top coat uh, in the uh, middle of the nail and let it solve level slightly. 
We can also turn the surface of the nail or of the tip upside down for the gravity to work on it to create a perfectly nice and smooth surface. And once this is ready, we can pop it into the lamp. Okay, so this design is now fully cured. Uh, so you can see we have the effect from a tiger eye a color and the marble around it. This kind of designs, they have been really popular in my salon, so hopefully they will be popular in yours too. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give us a like. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, uh, please subscribe to my channel too.